I had a really bad day. And so, if you did, just sing the song. If you had a bad day, you turn it around. You sing this song and da 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 da. I always muffle up the words to every song. Anyways, guys, Sam Spatero here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching this video. By the way, I'm gonna get you while you're here and you're just starting out. If you do like my content or you like my singing, hit the like button, subscribe button if you wanna be part of this community and the notification bell will let you know the next time I am doing one of my wicked videos. And so guys, like I started this video, we all have bad days, like really bad days. I was speaking with a gentleman uh, today who, you know, was in his fifties, a very high profile person. And he just woke up and says, I was just feeling really depressed today and couldn't figure out why. And maybe that was you some other day or later on today, or maybe a few weeks ago, or maybe tomorrow. It really doesn't matter. And I think what it really comes down to, especially being a man, um, we're always taught to be tough and rough it out and not show our emotions and our feelings. And that is pretty much the prelude to why men's suicide rate is three times higher than women. And so how do we turn this around? That's what this is all about. Becoming your own hero, taking those villain thoughts and values and ideologies that were instilled in us and flipping it around into a superpower. And so here's some key things I want to do um, with you today on this video is give you a different perspective on how to break through the next time you're feeling down. And so I often have some um, bad days as well. And a lot of times it's triggered from things that go on at work or in my businesses, maybe, you know, a relationship issue or, um, could be a fight with my family or COVID or riots or all these crazy things that are going on in the world. It's so easy for someone to capture your mind and hold you hostage. And so what is the one thing that you can do? And this is the one thing that has really helped me over this past little while is I've really gone all in on my physical well-being. And so why does that matter? How does it help you when you're depressed or you're feeling anxiety, or you're feeling down? Well, here are a couple things that it does. One, it reduces cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that floods you when you're feeling stressed and anxious. And the second thing that it does is it releases testosterone. So you actually start to feel a lot stronger. And the third thing it does is it automatically allows you to want to take on riskier decisions. And so you know, you know as well as I do, when you're down and out, you don't really want to do much. Um, and so what this really does is it helps you to make better choices and better decisions. And like Joe Rogan says, it's through discipline that you get shit done. And so disciplining your mind by creating a strong body is one very, very key thing in turning your down day into an up day. The second thing that you want to do is this, when you start to feel down, trust me, I know what's happening next. You're unmotivated, you don't wanna connect, you don't wanna hang out, you're probably eating crappy. All those things are already a prelude of a list of things that you're pulling into your head of what you're about to do. And so what I want you to do is as soon as you start to feel like that, completely reject that easy path. Cause you know as well as I do, when you hit that blanket and you hit that pillow, you're gonna live in regret wishing you never did those things. And so, what I want you to do is to get a piece of paper and write a list of five things that you can do the next time you're feeling down that you know will have profound, a profound impact on your mental health, your well-being, the way you wake up in the morning, the way you feel about yourself, your self-esteem, your body, your mind, your spirit, your family, your friends, your money, everything else. And so make sure you get very clear on that and keep it with you until all those five things are the first things that you think about the next time you are down and out. And the third thing, and this is one of the most important things um, that I learned um, from a program that I did called DARE. It was an anxiety program that I did years ago. And that is when you decide to start doing things that have a profound impact in your life that are positive, reward yourself. Even if it's the smallest of things, it's like you giving yourself a pat on the back 
And this is a form of self-love and become your own hero, which is you don't be your own punching bag, you be your own best friend, your own hero, your own rescuer. And you decide to say, you know what, man? You know what, girl? You did a wicked job. And I'm gonna reward you with ice cream, uh, you know, maybe going for a bike ride, whatever it is, a good movie, whatever it is, might maybe a romantic night, that ain't so bad. Whatever it might be, just go and do that. And so I just want to end on that because I can rant forever. And maybe I will later on as I build up my community and followers. Um, and so I'm going to keep them short because that was one of my goals. So guys, if you did like this video, maybe leave me a comment letting me know what you thought, if there was anything useful, or maybe you guys have some uh, things that you do that might help someone else and that you can share in the comment below. Um, and yeah, please don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And if you know anybody that could, um, you know, really benefit from uh, these messages, I would appreciate it. I actually coached a gentleman over COVID about two months ago who was living downtown Toronto, an older gentleman in his 50s who was struggling with crazy anxiety. And we had about a one hour coaching session. And I was speaking with some family of theirs uh, about a week ago and they said he was literally a completely different person and so what i want to tell you is that change doesn't happen over a lifetime it happens in a moment when you decide to do something completely different than any everybody else do something completely different than everything that you know and that is when that your life will change and remember, it is always darkest before dawn. And in behind the clouds, the sun is always shining. You just can't give up. And you always have to look up. And like I always tell my kids, and I'm going to annoy this shit in, and every one of my videos, if you are going to dream today, you better well make sure you dream big and keep smiling.